Morning folks, um, yeah, sorry about the uh, croaky voice, I've been uh, struggling with a man flu or a cold or I might even have that uh, moronic virus, mightn't I? Um, anyway, a friend has uh, has brought me around some some 15mm tanks to give me something to do. I suppose he thought I was just being too idle, laying in bed watching TV. So what he's done, he's brought me a... It's, what is it, a T-35 Russian tank in 15mm, turrets turning. This is one he's built up, but he doesn't want it anymore. He's not really interested. Um, so I'm going to have a go at painting up that, I think. And also a sprue with a, I think it's a T-26 on it. Um, no idea where it comes from. Or is it, um, it could be a Svedza, couldn't it? One 100 scale. 15 mil, not sure, but I'll uh, I'll cut it off the sprue, I think, and glue it together and see what it looks like, and just have a play around with these. So as long as I can stay breathing, um, um, yeah, I'll uh, I'll have a go, and then I'll come back to you when I've got somewhere. So back soon. Right, that's um that's me sprayed up already. Um, I'm sorry. Apologise for the voice again, it's still breaking down. Uh, there's a few bits left on the sprue, namely the tiny hatch there, which I'm probably going to paint separately or leave on the sprue. A couple of spare turrets and a turret location if you're using um, twin turrets for the T1026. Um, I've glued the two halves together, left the tracks separate. I think I'm going to paint those separate. Um, and the turrets here for the T26 and then I've got a little little tiny crew figure which you can hardly see um, again all of the turrets are off of the T35 um, kind of paint those obviously all loose uh, at the back we've got an array of paints been checking through YouTube and various other pictures and Russian tanks seem to be a variety of colors so I've got uh, the dark German greens uh, German camera bright green German field grey green, um, a Russian uniform green, a uh, German camo dark green, and then we've got some olive drabs and olive greys. Um, I think I'm going to go with this dark green and I'm going to use dry brushing techniques. So I'll have a go and say I haven't done any of this for years. Uh, probably 20, oh god, it might even be 30 years since I painted a tank. Um, <laughs> so I'll do my best, um, have a go, see what I can come up with. So back soon. Right, that's the uh, the first coat of um, <clears throat> excuse me dark green, um, yeah, just drying off. I uh, I used the German uniform dark green, and I think I'm going to use a mix of German camo bright green and mix it up with the dark for a dry brush. I don't think any of these here are going to be suitable. They're the sort of wrong greens, um, but I'll give it a try. I think I'll try the little T26 first. Mix up a bit of dry brush, see what we get. Um, looking on YouTube, a lot of people seem to put the wash, the, uh, what are we, dark tone. Yeah, put a dark tone wash on first, uh, before the dry brushes, but that just seems odd to me. So I'm going to go with my usual way, which is um, dry brushes, then I'll put a wash on. Um, right, I'll get stuck in and see what we can come up with, so back soon. Hi there, right, um, I've uh, finished the, uh, the little T26. Um, yeah, it was a bit of fun to do, it wasn't hard. 15 mil scale, I did enjoy doing it. Um, <laughs> I think the shading hasn't quite worked. I, um, I put the green on, um, dry brushed it with a lighter green mixed with the dark green and then dry brushed again with the light green which was which one was it it was the uh german bright camo so that was the second so we had the dark green then a mix of the two and then just the light green and then i put a black wash on and i use the quick shade dark tone and it still looks very dark to me um so i'm thinking what i'm going to do is just take a take a brush and a little bit of green and just highlight over the edges I'm thinking something like that um, because it looks very dark it looks dark in the picture doesn't it see what 
take the turret off. Yep, turret comes off. Yeah, so still looks very dark, but uh, there we go. I'm going to drill a bigger hole in there. It's very tight. Just don't want it breaking. Um, the figure I just did a basic one coat of a kind of uh, what well, I use a khaki, put a black wash on it, and then just painted the face. I don't know if that shows up. It's very small. <sighs> Probably that's why I don't do 15 anymore. <laughs> but yeah, um, I think it's okay. I need just a bit more light um, highlighting. And there we have the T35, that's ready to go. So I'm gonna do the same thing, perhaps do a slightly heavier um, light green dry brush. So um, I'll get that done and uh, see what it comes out like. So mm, back soon. Well, there we go folks, all done, all done and dusted. T35 and the T26, uh, got them on the magic roundabout. Saves having to keep turning them by hand. Um, it was okay, it was enjoyable. Good change uh, from painting figures, 25 or 28 mil figures. Yeah, um, but 15 mil is way too small for me. My eyes are not good enough these days as I'm getting old. <laughs> but I used to paint loads of this sort of thing many, many years ago now. But uh, yeah, I think the tad had okay. The shading looks great here. I don't know how it shows up on the film. I don't think it looks as good as it does to me, but uh, yeah, I've hand painted a couple of numbers and letters, but as the Russians uh, as symbols that were hand painted anyway, they weren't, uh, I don't think they were uh, transfer types. Well, I think they were just painted by hand, so it doesn't really matter too much. Well, in my eyes, it doesn't. So yeah, I'm pleased with uh, how they turned out. Yep, so we got a T35 and a T26. Um, I'll put some stills at the end. Thanks for looking, and bye for now.